Hey guys, so we are finishing out the year. It's that roundup. We're coming into fall time, winter time. So we want to talk about our teardrop life and what are the three top things that we love about our teardrop. Three pros and maybe three cons of teardrop life and, not, and living in a teardrop. Now we don't live in it full time, but we spend a lot of time in it. Second home almost. Like we're out all the time on the road. We've taken multiple two to three week trips almost every weekend. It's four and a half years old. We got it in 2020. And uh, as you've seen in our review videos, check them out. We're approaching probably 150,000 this year. We're, we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 125, 130,000 miles on it. Well used. So for me, the top pro of it is this right here. We can drag it down to right on the beach by the river and it fits. We got it in here. Really nice. Without having to make any major modifications, you can modify the axle and that kind of stuff. But as stock, you're able to get it pretty much almost anywhere. Just make sure you kind of have some boards and stuff in case you get into some yeah. rocky areas, which we did use this time. We've used our traction boards. We uh, out. You saw, if you watch our out west trips, uh, we did this summer. We've gone to some pretty crazy spots. The forest roads, rocks. We don't rock crawl with it, obviously, but. We'll just go slower, you know, than maybe a, you can buy a purpose-built off-road teardrop, but you're probably going to pay more. Um, we paid 16000 at the RV show four and a half years ago. What a deal. I'm going to say number two thing is size and how compact it is. We love that we can actually put our teardrop right in our garage. We can store it there. I don't have to pay a monthly fee to send it off somewhere where you can't get it out for the fall months because we do camp year round. Um, and it doesn't actually take up our whole garage. So you still have the other half of your garage that you can use. So size was a very big thing for us. I know a lot of people think that maybe it's too small for them, but if you love to get out, you love to hike, you love to canoe, you love to see nature, it's a bed on wheels and that's really all you need yeah. is some place to sleep and your kitchen in the back yeah and, and along with that you know rolling it right in the garage is great it tows like nothing you don't even know it's there you don't need a sway bar of course we have a full-size truck so it's even easier to tow with great gas mileage you don't really lose gas mileage on it doesn't weigh much i think maybe we're at 2,000 pounds fully loaded uh that's another really good benefit of it and yeah, just a bet on wheels. Like we like to sit out and actually camp even in the winter. I don't want to sit in the RV. Like we just sleep in it. We don't do anything else. It has a TV, it has an air conditioner, has a microwave, stuff that we hardly ever use. Has a radio, we hardly ever do that. We like just to be out in nature, rustic, primitive camping if we can, enjoying the nature. And I'm gonna say the number three thing that I really love about our teardrop is we have our kitchen right there in the back. So you have your bed and you have your kitchen and your cooking station all right compact in one area. You know, a lot of people like when you look at our teardrop, we, it's not nice, it's not pretty. <laughs> it's got its bumps, it's got its bruises, but we are somebody that actually physically goes out wear and tear and use it. Yeah, it's got a few bumps that probably we've put on it that we need to fix up. But I have to say for the time period that we've had it, it's really done the job for anywhere that we want to take it and all in one spot you've got bedding you've got cooking station i can bring along our pit toilet and our set up our shower gear everything in one drop spot yeah so I would, docking. it's really good that way with the kitchen out back it makes you be outside more kind of keeps you're not stinking up the camper cooking inside uh bathroom same thing you don't have to we don't have to empty any kind of tanks or any of that mess we don't deal with any of that Lug stuff our 20 gallon bucket and uh, trash bag or whatever, the portable toilet bags with the stuff in them. Affordability, I mean, yeah, you can get a camper the same price, it's a lot bigger, but you may have to pay to store it. It's not gonna fit in your garage. We can just roll out. That's the other really main thing is, Super convenient to just roll out of your garage, pack, repack, and, and ready. And it depends on what you're looking to do when you're camping. I mean, people always say they want the luxury of a large camper. We have shown you that you can set up a tent outside, fully deck it out, and still have luxury with having the compatibility of having this to be able to fit inside your garage at home and have literally a full kitchen in the back, including your fridge cooler, you can have your sink, be able to wash your dishes, you've got places to store your stuff, um, everything, one-stop shop.
And I think I would say too, very reliable. I think the smaller teardrops, not just New Camp, there are a few other good companies for sure. I mean, we love New Camp, but TC Teardrops in uh, Northern Wisconsin, great small teardrop builder. He's, Todd's making some great stuff. Uh, yeah. The smaller ones I think are more reliable and less likely to have issues and breakdowns and fall apart. And you can actually get at the show this year, you can get our basic model and it's literally has like almost nothing in it. So you can customize it however you want to do by putting in your own gear, which is actually keeps the price down and is pretty cool. So then you can just add what you really think you need to have when you're out in camp. Yeah, the ba there's a base model. There's several brands. Don't just, you know, take a look at New Camp though. There's, there, you know, we're really happy with them. And even the bigger ones, the Tab 320, 360 now, the Tab 400. All good stuff, a little bit bigger, a little more amenities, a little more room, but still small enough to go most places. Um, not gonna fit in your garage. And then the other, some of the other smaller builders, they're not just rolling them out of the factory and putting out junk. Now, three cons to teardrop life. Yes, it is not all glamor. It is tight in there. You're not changing clothes in there. Calisthenics. Yeah, it's rolling in and out of there. It can be a challenge. Uh, it's. The weather is, uh, yes, we have our nice gazebo set up, but in some vicious weather, we it's... You, it still is, a, it's a camper. So like even if we go out and we cold tent, it's cold in there. I mean, it might shield you from the wind, but it still gets cold. Now, can you, we have taken out in negative temps, really, I wouldn't do that all the time because it is gonna ice, you're not gonna wanna ventilate it. Um, so there is like really no heat. Well, I guess you could plug it into a plug-in site. And use yeah, we don't heater, do a lot really of electric lot of camping that. or a generator. We have our lithium batteries. So we, this year we may do more um, with a heated blanket, 12 volt. We usually had our zero degree bag, a couple extra blankets, and we have slept in it when it was 16 below zero. Not the ideal situation, but it is insulated pretty good. I think one con too is the, you know, the weather also, and then the storage, you are limited on storage to a degree. Like right now, we'll, if you look in here, this is where we load everything up. All the chairs go in, all the extra crap, the clothing. And I'm gonna say that it does come, like I said, the, the kitchen, it comes with a microwave. We've used our microwave literally twice, three times. It's more of a storage compartment for us to put our bread and some kind of dry goods in there. So I feel like if you really want you, the basic model that you can get right now it's a lot cheaper doesn't have all it doesn't have the microwave in there um, you can either put a fridge cooler you can put just a regular cooler that's just an ice cooler or you can get the Frigidaire or one of those other ones um, the storage so we've had to be a little bit we've actually chose to take our cooler out and we actually have a plastic container that holds all of our cookware plates dishes and stuff because there wasn't a lot of room underneath the sink to you're, store things. You're limited on cabinet space and uh, our truck bed holds some of our gear but we would like to bring a lot of stuff so it, it, it all ends up piling in here. If you're a solo person it's great because you can put the bed to one side and have other stuff inside. For us we can't just pull over on the side of the road and hop in the camper and take a nap. We've got a we lot of stuff in there. tons of gear. Oh uh, yeah another main negative thing is if you are going to spend a lot of time in the teardrop like I said, we've done almost three weeks. You kind of want to get, we do a lot of one night trips, which are, can be rough. So that's where it's harder because you got to set everything up, tear it back down versus a bigger RV. You can just pull in and you're kind of mostly, mostly set, up. set up. So teardrop life for longer trips, three weeks, month or more would be challenging, but you, it's doable. Yeah, it is doable. If you get somewhere and you gotta, that is one con too. You've got to have some kind of outdoor room to change clothes, bathroom, or just maybe like a living area. That's how you've showed you kind of like the Joy Tudis and that yeah. kind of stuff that we really like to have. But if you're staying somewhere for a while, you can set all that up really nice. And you know, we've had the couch thing in there and it really felt like a living room. You gotta really tie it down. That's where you, if you run into some crazy weather, that can be a problem, but. 
So we hope that all of our videos and kind of coming to see us on our channel kind of encourages people to get out there, get outside. Even if some people, I have friends at work, I work in a hospital setting, they're too nervous to drive a big camper. Um, we like to show you that you can camp anyway. Um, just get outside. There's so much going on in life. Things can be kind of stressful. It's just a way to kind of detox. Um, just enjoy nature and get back out there. Um, and we show you, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Um, just depending on what kind of camping you're looking to do. And we like to show on our channel that, you know, you can hot tent, you can teardrop, you can canoe camp, you can just regular tent camping outside. It's all possible. So we love that all you guys have followed us and continue to follow us and leave all those awesome comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to hear from each and every one of you. So yeah, I mean, I think teardrop life, if you're considering it, teardrop, tiny camper, square drop, whatever, it's a great life. Uh, it is so much more easier to travel with, just stop and go, hook up, unhook, load and go. Goes most places, we don't have trouble turning anywhere or parking lots, windy, twisty roads, mountains, we don't have any issues with that. If you're, uh, I know there's a lot of solo female campers that are getting into camping and it's it can be intimidating towing a big camper. So I think if you're considering teardrop life or tiny camper, Definitely think about some of the stuff we said. Watch some other channels that do it. It's it's yeah. not all glamorous like you see in a lot of the videos. There are definitely some issues, but overall it is hard to come up with a lot of negatives in my opinion. We just, we like it. We're, we are more primitive style camping. We don't have to sit and have a TV and air conditioning or fancy water parks or playgrounds. Bathroom shower. <laughs> we don't even have to have a shower most of the time. We're, we're good. We just like to get out in nature and enjoy it. So. Check it out. Check out some of our other videos. Watch some other people's playlists on, on Tiny Camping Life. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So We look to see you guys out there. Thank you for joining us. Hope this video helps you decide and make a decision. There's several companies. We'll put some links in the description. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.